Welcome to the Courting Happiness Podcast. This is a space where self-care becomes part of your day. A space where you learn evidence-based strategies to help your life, share it with those you love, and cultivate well-being at work. I'm your host, Dr. Courtney Alston. I'm a former news director, television reporter turned happiness scholar, TEDx speaker, and transformational trainer. I also understand hardships. While working my dream job in television, I lived a nightmare suddenly becoming a young widow after 86 days of marriage. Marriage. I became committed to learning more about resilience, healing, and happiness. This is how I discovered my area of research, which is positive psychology. Now I'm living my calling of training individuals and organizations on happiness. And my new chapter begins with being happily engaged. The courting and courting happiness is about a true courtship. I like to say commitment with happiness. The K in courting stands for the vulnerability of sharing my story, inspirational interviews with phenomenal people, the infusion fusion of positive psychology, and so much more. You'll learn how to commit to your well-being one episode at a time. I hope you subscribe and share. So, are you ready? Let's get started. Welcome to episode 117. I'm Dr. Courtney Alston. Thank you so much for listening. Can you believe this? Christmas. It's almost here. It's just days away. And I have a big question for you. A big question. How much holiday shopping have you completed? How much? I'm listening. I'm waiting. And look, there's no judgment. (laughs) Because if you're looking for some last minute gifts, well, I have some suggestions. So I have a few of my favorite 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 picks so you are in the right place so maybe you might be thinking about grabbing even yourself some gifts that will help you relax right recharge and create your own personal retreat this episode is your answer to all of those questions and more I'm going to share my top five last minute holiday picks and even a big bonus a big bonus tip. And for all the items that are shared in this episode, you can check out these picks on drcourtneyalston.com slash podcast slash episode 117. And some of the purchases that you'll find will help support this podcast. So let's start with number one. Favorite pick number one. Are you ready to make your Christmas merry and truly bright? If so, you want to grab my top pick, which is smart lights, smart light bulbs. And I will tell you something, get ready to light up your space with all of the colors of the rainbow. (laughs) Um, The Orient light bulbs are what I like to use. They do just that. But what I love so much about smart light bulbs, it helps with creating the mood in my room. And when I'm ready to unwind, I go right to the app and I adjust it based on how I feel. And sometimes I feel like pink. (laughs) sometimes I feel like blue and it even has great presets like cozy and um, family and I think one is actually emotions but the LED lights provide about 16 million colors I I can't even believe that um, when I read that from the manufacturer and dimmable dimmable white light which I also love so much you can set the lights um, to a specific time I will admit I haven't had a chance to do that yet and I love the fact that even said that you can even set it to like um, a surprise party and and, and kind of like set the lights that way I'm like wow these lights are really organized um, <laughs> so I'm looking forward to diving in deeper as it relates to um, getting to know my smart lights but I just love how it just changes the tone the space the mood, the mood of the room. I can't even imagine why I didn't have these lights sooner. I even, I just love it. Like pink, blue, green, yellow. I mean, uh, so many colors. So no matter what, these lights will allow you to be in control of these multicolor options. 
And so again, you can find this on the website. I love smart lights. So favorite pick number two, the Echo Show 8, the HD smart display with, of course, Alexa. The Echo Show 8 with HD Smart Display provides the benefit of having everything at your fingertips. And I love it so much um, because it keeps really so... See that? I mentioned Alexa. She's actually in the studio. Um, So I love it so much because it keeps um, so many things in my house. And in terms of I love the fact that I have it so much because it's in my home, clearly now in my studio. You just heard her in the back. The magic of her. And I feel like, again, she's this personal assistant that provides reminders, answers questions, and even plays my favorite podcast. And is giving me so much peace of mind from setting my alarm to asking specific questions, providing different reminders. I love sharing it with the one I have in my office and when I'm home to create a reminder for me in the office. And then when I walk into the office, I have that reminder there. Of course, I can also do that on my on my iPhone. But I just love being able to have um, all of that, you know, levels of support. And again, this gives me so much peace of mind. Then I also love being able to play Meditation Station um, and different self-care elements and options on my Echo as well. And so what you'll find on the website are these great articles I talked to you about, some of the ways that you can leverage um, Echo, and you know her name, uh, to help provide self-care and also 15 great skills that the Amazon AI assistant can really help you to help make life so much easier. And so it's something that I not only depend on, but so does my fiance Ken. He loves it. And so that is my pick number two. Pick number three is something I talk about a lot. A lot (laughs) for years on the podcast. And that's the beauty and the power of the gratitude jar. And gratitude jars have increased my well-being. And there's something about, for me, seeing my blessings grow versus in a journal. I think journals are great, but I love being able to have the jar and being able to really have this great visual benefit. I've often discussed it in terms of the podcast, showing the sharing, I should say, the scientific benefits of gratitude. Um, And you can also create your own. I've done that in the past. I've created my own um, gratitude jars and I've also purchased many jars. And so you'll find um, one of my recommendations uh, on the website focused in on on creating this great keepsake in terms of it's called the Christian art gifts keepsake count your blessings jar um and it's a glass gratitude set and you will find that on the website and you can also find one of my recommendations I have purchased um for myself and for friends and family as gifts out of the Etsy store. You'll find that link as well. There's not that many left. I'm not sure if there's like a fear of missing out at this Etsy store, Um, but there's not that many left. Um, uh, And so that's one of the reasons why I've given like a couple of options for you to take a look at on the website, but I love them. And I love how people respond once I give it to them as gifts. So it's really great in terms of having for yourself and then also being able to give it to others. And another thing what I love about the gratitude jars is that it's really a wonderful activity individually and then also collectively. So I love hearing the stories about how families have gotten together to participate in gratitude jars. Um, And I also share how my fiance created a gratitude jar for me when we were in a long distance relationship. And then I also love the fact that one, one of my former students, um, she created a gratitude jar after I talked to her about it and decided that she wanted other people to create gratitude jars around her. So there's something that's really just this great ripple effect that comes with participating in gratitude jars. And it's a great gift. It is a great gift all year round all year round. So certainly take a look. And it's one of my favorite things. And 
And that's why gratitude jars make pick number three. So let's talk about my other favorite pick, which is pick number four. And that send a meal to a loved one or just save time for yourself. I say do both. (laughs) Do both. I remember when I was working on my PhD at the University of Florida and I became ill had like a cold, you know, all the work that you do. And next thing you know, you're like, oh my gosh, I have a cold. And I was just really just, you know, congested and, and tired. And a friend sent me a beautiful, healthy meal from my favorite restaurant delivered by Grubhub. And she was miles away. She was in my cohort, but she lived miles away, like I think two hours away from the university. And she had this special meal delivered right to my door. And I love that. It is an act to this day that I think back and I treasure it. And so you'll, if you haven't already tried, these really, uh, you know, Grubhub and DoorDash and Uber Eats really provide fast, contact-free delivery. And these food ordering and delivery platforms, they can help you save time and provide convenience So you might want to surprise a friend or family member with their favorite meal or buy them a gift card from um, one of these platforms. Plus, you might want to save some time for yourself and order from them too. So you can go to drcourtneyalston.com slash podcast slash episode 117 to get codes and links for either Uber Eats, Grubhub, or DoorDash or you could try all. I actually utilize all of them. Again, no judgment. (laughs) Your purchase will also help support this podcast. So definitely go to the website to check it out. All right. So we're getting down this list. Here's our favorite pick, my favorite pick for number five, and it's give the gift of grocery delivery. And you might want to add it to your list too. So like tip four, which is all about convenience. Grocery delivery can also help you save time for yourself and your loved one. I will tell you, one of my favorites, Instacart. And I will admit this, I love utilizing Instacart. I even know the shoppers at this point, and it's wonderful. I love getting to know them. I love saving time you know, with grocery shopping. And I also love leaving these, you know, great reviews for them as well because I'm so grateful for them to help me save some time. And especially since I've gone vegan and it's been great getting all these different vegan options that I just may not have had the time for that day or that week. And my incredible Instacart shopper is coming to the rescue (laughs) (laughs) getting all of my healthy options delivered right to my door and giving the gift of grocery delivery can help save a trip to the supermarket. And it can also provide more time for you to focus on other things. Maybe it might be walking to the park or spending time with people you love or just catching up on some rest. But you can go to drcourtneyalston.com slash podcast slash episode 117 to get your Instagram codes. Uh, And that code can help the purchase. uh, Well, that purchase, I should say, in terms of the utilizing the code can can also help support this podcast as well. So again, go to drcourtneyalston.com slash podcast slash episode 117 to get your Instagram code. And again, the purchase will help support the podcast. So are you ready for a bonus tip? Are you ready? Well, this is my bonus tip. Bonus tip is purchase merchandise that keeps on giving. And if you're searching for a gift that gives back, the Courting Happiness Podcast merchandise store has t-shirts, sweatshirts, cups, and totes. And the best part is that your purchase supports this podcast. Your contribution at the Courting Happiness official merchandise store helps our mission, which of course you know is to increase well-being one episode at a time. And by the way, all the products are designed by me. By me. So I hope you visit the Courting Happiness podcast official merchandise store and grab some great merchandise 
that's designed especially for you and being able to share it with the people in your life. Or you might want to decide to purchase it for yourself in terms of sharing your support of this podcast. I'm wishing you and your family the happiest holiday season ever. I hope you know that I'm so grateful for for all of you. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. And always remember this, your well-being is your most important job and I'm always here to help. Thank you so much for listening. Let's continue this conversation online. Email us at podcast at drcourtneyalston.com. That's podcast at D-R-K-O-R-T-N-I-A-L-S-T-O-N dot com. Join us on Instagram at Courting Happiness. Don't forget that's courting with a K. Also, I hope you join our private Facebook community. You can find us at Courting Happiness Podcast Community. Our private Facebook group is a safe haven to share, meet more people looking to build positive relationships, focus on well-being, and create a happier life. Now, are you ready to spread happiness? We hope you subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, co-workers, and all the important people in your world. We release a new episode every Thursday. Congratulations on your continued commitment to your courting happiness journey. Thank you so much for listening. We want you to be well, be happier, and be kinder to yourself. We can't wait to see you next week.